Hey, what up everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you here with the Thursday night football video coming up right around the corner. NFL, you know, really kick it in. Uh, I did pretty well in Pick'em uh, over the weekend. I was tied for first um, with, uh, I believe, four people in my Pick'em league. Um, so it all went over pretty well. Um, Kansas City, um, you know, playing at home against the Denver Broncos is going to be the game on Thursday. Um, a, a, a battle of the AFC West. It's going to be a pretty good game. These two teams come in pretty evenly matched. Um, if you think about, you know, all of the talk which is going around uh, the NFL, it's basically wondering if Peyton Manning uh, has lost a step. Um, he just doesn't really seem to have the the value that he that he's had. If you think about his last two games of the uh, season last year. Um, and then, you know, this kickoff um, game last week um, where the Broncos did win, uh, Peyton just didn't look like Peyton. Peyton basically um, underperformed his, his normal Peyton Manning um, stats that he would normally throw up. Uh, the, the Denver Broncos did get a win, 19 over 13 against Baltimore. Honestly, I missed this game because for some reason in my brain, I was thinking that this was going to be the early Monday night game instead of the Atlanta versus Eagles game. For some reason, I had told myself uh, that the Broncos played on that one, and I was really looking forward to it. And I had to go back on Monday once uh, the Falcons uh, and the Eagles started to realize that I had messed up and I had to read up on this game. Um, in the uh, Kansas City game, they were able to pull out a win over the Houston Texans. Um, this was a hard-fought game where they actually won um, on the road uh, against Houston, and that's that's really good playing there in the loud um Again, I get, I forgot what the, the the Texas stadium is. It's the home of WrestleMania 25. How could I forget this? But uh, with the Texans fans um, being as loud as they were, um, the uh, Kansas City Chiefs were very, very good. Um, you know, they only committed two penalties the whole the whole game, only giving up 15 yards. Uh, Any time uh, you can you can have your football team perform like that, where you're not giving up a lot of free yardage, um, you're going to be in contenders uh, to win that game. Uh, Kansas City and Denver are both in a three-way tie at the top of the AFC West. Only team that lost in the division was the Oakland Raiders. Um, so, you know, seeing who this one is, it's going to give them a, a, a good head start um, to see what the NFL season is going to be like for these guys in 2015. Um, I'm, I'm picking um, Kansas City uh, to win this game, but it's hard for me. I very rarely pick against Peyton Manning, but uh, maybe I'm drinking the Kool-Aid. I've heard this broken down on just about every sports show. Um, people saying that when quarterbacks you know, have it, they have it, uh, but when they lose it, they lose it hard. And uh, people have brought up uh, Johnny Unitas. People have brought up uh, Fouts. Um, you know, lots of quarterbacks that were at the top of the league, um, you know, really, you know, pass eccentric, just throwing the ball everywhere. And then all of a sudden, out of the middle of nowhere, the arm just wasn't what it once was. And I can't believe it. Peyton Manning has been one of my favorite quarterbacks of all time, uh, dating back to his days with the Tennessee Volunteers. Um, entering into the league and playing all those years uh, with the Colts. Um, but, uh, you know, you got to go sometime. I just don't believe it's going to be now. I don't really want to believe it. Um, Jamal Charles coming out of the backfield for the Chiefs is one of the reasons why you always got to be looking for them. Over 100 yards from scrimmage um, and a touchdown last week coming from him. Alex Smith had a really good game. Um, I believe he had three TDs um, with no interceptions in week one, passing the ball around. Um, I believe he hit uh, the... Um, tight ends for all of those because I think they've been talking about um, uh, the Chiefs haven't thrown a, um, a touchdown to a wide receiver and I believe since uh, late 2013 uh, when Dwayne Bowe caught one um, since then you know they, they've had a passing attack it's just, they just don't throw the ball into the end zone uh, no one's been able to break free um, lots of Jamal Charles handoffs running into the end zone um, the Kansas City Chiefs have been in a drought they haven't beat Peyton Manning in eight games um, you know, this is, um, this, this, this is a week. Honestly, I really think they could do it, but, uh, Lots of talk about Peyton not living up to what he once was. Um, Alex Smith, uh, since leaving the Niners, has been a really great quarterback. Um, I honestly thought that when Andy Reid went to the Chiefs, um, it was just sort of like, let's make as much money before we hang it up and call it a career. I didn't really think that he was going to be putting together a winner there. I sort of also sort of um, related it to when Herm Edwards went to the Chiefs. Uh, I just looked at it as uh, the, you know when you go to the Chiefs, it's pretty much to the end of the reign, and uh, that's going to be it. But uh, it looks like he's really been able to put together a winner there um, with Charles and um, Alex Smith leading the offense. 
We'll see what's going to be uh, go down tomorrow. I think it's going to be a good game. I think it's going to be a close game. I'm picking the Chiefs. Who you guys got?